one, two, three. Hello everyone! Another fantastic magical morning and a new set is released so we're obviously gonna try to farm it playing a standard event. And as you can see I'm back in my studio aka my girlfriend's walk-in closet but she's not here today so <laughs> finally got to record myself. And yeah, what can I say about standard events? I've been playing a couple today and I finally got a deck that I enjoyed. Uh, it's still kind of a cesspool, the matchmaking uh, this is, it feels a little bit weird and the card draw. But either way, we did pretty pretty well, so with that being said, let's go straight to the deck list. Alright, so this is the deck we're gonna play today and we only have two new cards or one favorite reprint. Uh, but let's go over this one real quick, which is the main card of this deck. War Leaders Call, a 3 mana enchantment, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1, and whenever a creature enters a battlefield under your control, War Leaders Call deal 1 damage to each opponent. And which is pretty sweet, so we're playing a lot of tokens that can, you know, the, you know, the good old fashioned wedding announcement together with Virtue of Loyalty. And yeah, I mean, it, it, this is insane, like you get two twos of wedding announcement and you deal one damage. If you have multiple of these, I mean, you're gonna start pinging them pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, Resolute Reinforcements is amazing with this and Sunset Revelry is pretty cool as well. And yeah, it's a just uh, really, really, this is the card I've been mostly very excited about, so I'm glad we managed to get it on the first standard event. The next spell is a, is a reprint that's really, really fun, Lightning Helix, uh, Boros Mana, deal 3 damage, 10 and targeting, gain 3 life. Also pretty cool, I mean, we have Sunset Revelry, Market Gnome, and a Lightning Helix, which is technically the way we survive if we're on the draw against Mono Red. And trust me, if you're in a standard event and you have my luck, you're gonna be on the draw quite a bit. Uh, and then we just, oh, I guess Wandering Emperor can get here too with the lifelink, but that's fine. And then we just essentially take over the game, making a bunch of <laughs> tokens that become bigger and bigger and bigger, and uh, the opponent can't keep up, essentially. Our, I mean, we should be able to, if we're on the play against an aggro deck, we win. If we are on the draw, we should have a fighting chance. Against Domain is probably probably gonna be a little bit iffy, especially if you are on the draw, given that they have, you know, Sunfall and stuff. Uh, and against a worse enemy, I would say is probably Control, because uh, Farewell is just the worst card in, that we could possibly face. Uh, also keep in mind, like, Warlord's Call plus, you know, Mirix is really, really fun as well. So yeah, this is the deck, and uh, let's go straight to the first game, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Alright, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you and it helps the video out. And if you happen to enjoy the content, please give the video a like and possibly subscribe. That would make my day. Alright, let's start the first game. Alright, opponent gets to go first. I love every second of my life. This is the, the real reason why I play MTG Arena. It looks like we're playing against Mono White Aggro, potentially a, a Boros deck, who knows, or Soldiers, but we do have two Lightning Helixes. I mean, and we, I think we're pretty pre prepared, and maybe it's Mono White midrange now since he's not playing anything. Or maybe he has his Restlet Reinforcements here, or... Haha, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if he, ha if he drops red mana and uh, the new enchantment, I'm gonna be very, very sad. Oh, I'm very, very sad. Well, this is, yeah, okay. Well, the opponent, what a blessing, huh? But this enchantment doesn't do much if he doesn't have creatures. So let's go ahead and just smash these two. Uh, I don't really wanna trade my virtue with, uh, my virtue token with this token. I'd rather just shoot it and it gives him life. And then whatever you place here will exile it with the wedding and uh, the wandering emperor. Okay, we'll learn up here. Okay, so he's playing the com uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, not connive. I can never remember what it. When you tap creatures to cast something, yeah. And then also when they destroy that artifact to make tokens. So yeah, that's an alternative way to go with this deck. But uh, I mean, we have some falls, so just you wait, opponent. Convoke. That's it. Is not connive. Convoke. Yeah, yeah. maybe I should have played that deck. <laughs> it's not looking too great here. Sure, uh, then uh, I think since the plan is to uh, excel everything with some fall, I'll just shoot and not play out my virtue. Save it. And okay, we do get the land, which is really nice. So we're just gonna hold here and uh, exile his uh, Knight of the Errant, uh, Knight Errant of Eos. 
Because hopefully he plays an entire hand. He deals probably a massive amount of damage. Because these hurt. Regal Bunny Corn, sure. Just please have a one mana creature, dude. And tap everything to scry. Do that instead of actually attacking. That would be nice too. Okay, so it's. Oh, perfect. Alright. But he can scry quite a bit here, I believe. One is probably saying that. <laughs> I got the massive armor. <laughs> There's no way you can survive. Just you wait, opponent. Uh, I don't want to take 9 damage. I, I think it's definitely for sure. Wandering Emperor time. So let's go get rid of the EOs. Swing. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And then we're just going to Sunfall, and the opponent will no longer be able to maintain his composure. He gets a scry. Go bottom, 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 bottom. Sometimes life is really good. Uh, right. So let's get rid of this. I love my life sometimes. And let's go ahead and plus you. And yeah, you go, opponent. I would also like to play the new card. I mean, we did play Lightning Helix, but I don't really consider that a new card. That is, you know, an old card. Okay, an Impacal. Also a card that works pretty well with the Warlord's Call, but eh, I don't want to play it. I prefer my human deck with a Roaming Throne. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. We can do Warlord's Call here and start pinging him whenever we are allowed. Thank you. And we make a token. It's a 3-3, because that is how good this <laughs> war leader's call is. And uh, yeah, we just hold, I think, the incubator token. And if he doesn't attack, we just uh, play out the virtue of loyalty. Okay, absolute reinforcement, absolute fun. Yeah, bro, are you gonna attack? Oh my god, dude. Can you get, like, how you... Four lands, dude. D draw some lands, man. Get some crap cards here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a problem. Uh, they're all gonna get haste and stuff. Um, doesn't really matter which one we get out. So we might as well do this. There's no way opponent has forgotten about my incubator tokens. It's just not happening. Oh, that is really good. <laughs> uh... Let's just do this. And uh, the Sunset Revelry, so we also get to draw the card, gain some life. God dang, Sunset Revelry together with Warlord's Call is so good. Thank you. And uh, we just buff with our Emperor. We could just actually attack. We need to close the game anyway, so let's just activate the Incubator token, put a counter on it, and just, uh, you know. Actually, we don't need to put a counter on it because it's a 6 6 because we have the War Leader's Call. So we can just buff something else that we want to attack with next turn. Do 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 do. I mean, it's we have some, yeah. Do you want a four? four? Actually, getting a five four is probably better, since uh, then it will compete with the uh, knight and Fios. Let's attack. There's no way he's gonna block. Um, please do if you want to, Jinsu. All right, dude. Five life. I'd say that the the only reason we're still alive here is because of Sunfall. It's such a good card. White had the best five drops in the world. Virtue of loyalty and Sunfall. It's unfair. Warden of the Inner Sky, sure. You wanna scry a little bit? <laughs> Maybe attacks all, that'd be kinda cool. Sure. Cause this is the chance. This is when this is when he can attack. Sure. But look, he's only making one token, right? So yeah. Alright, so we can actually be picky with our blockers, I think. We're not even close to dying. So we have to chump some here. Actually, let's do, uh, let's actually kill that for fun. Doesn't matter, our incubator token is going to kill him. Let's just block the big ones here. And uh, you put you over here. So that's what? Three, five damage. Sure. Let's fire. Okay, my turn. I mean, who had the better deck? <laughs> This guy. Okay, opponent gets to go first again. Are you surprised if I tell you I am not surprised? Hopefully it's aggro though, because then the... Oh, look at that. The revelries can actually pull their weight. Cool. See, the kimono makes me not wanna... Oh, there's the gnome actually. I was speaking... I was thinking of you. Uh, so I think we go gnome, revelry, revelry... Yeah. 
The gnome is kind of... I thought it was a good idea to put the gnome in because it's a one mana good blocker. You gain a life and draw a card when it dies. Uh, and it can be buffed very well with, you know, the war leader's call and also with uh, the wedding announcement and, of course, uh, virtue of loyalty. But uh, the death effect is completely negated by this fucking Kumana, so... Yeah, maybe we should play, like, something else. Like, I think probably... I mean, you want to play creatures, right? I want one a creature because we are a creature-based deck. But honestly, I think uh, it probably would have been better to play uh, Elspeth Smite, I think. So yeah, maybe we'll... That's an I might cut that at the end when with this event is over. Okay, that's dangerous. Luckily, we got a Lightning Helix. I mean, look at this Mark Gnome. It's like, he can't do anything. This Kumana is just worthless. So uh, you need to have two or more basic lands. Well, that's not us, so we have to get rid of that. Yung. Okay, and now we do have uh, Sunset Revelry active. We could also Virtue and try to kill off his uh, Kumano, because I'd rather kill his Kumano. I want to kill the Kumano before... Uh, before, hopefully before the gnome died. Sorry about that, I think someone was a, someone rang the door, but who cares. Yeah, I think we go with the Virtue of Loyalty. Air Raid. Okie dokie. Uh, so probably a Monstrous Rage. And uh, if you are on oh, Lightning Strike on my no- oh yeah, that's fair. Okay, uh, okay. Then Gnome did its job. Uh, so let's just go ahead. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't have it, but we'll try. I mean, it looks like he has a stick here, so probably has something. It looks like a monster's rage, but we'll try. You have to at least try. If you're on the, it's like the same thing as uh, Azor's control. If you're on the draw and you feel like they have a million counter spells, you still have to, you know, try. Uh, so. I mean, there's nothing else we can really do besides uh, Revelry here. So let's do that. Game for life. Make two tokens. You know, it would be nice to get a... Do we have the wedding announcements? I forgot. <laughs> do we play those cards? I think you have four copies. Where do they go? <laughs> Three Mishras. Okay, that's really sad. I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, so maybe we're not sitting as secure as I think. I honestly believe, like, to avoid the situation, we should just play the Virtue of Loyalty here so that our revelry are 2 2, so we can't get smorked by end of festivities. So, yeah, upon you get this one turn, you can do 2, 4, 6, I think. You can do a little bit more, I think. No, it's still 6. <laughs> the math adds up. Sure. Okay, Mirix is kind of cool. But I think Field of Ruin is better because we can actually destroy whatever land he animates, right? It would be nice to use Sunfall, but I can't do Sunfall unless I have the mana to actually, you know, um, create the, the incubator token. Or like, to transform it. So we definitely have to go for Sunset Railroad here. We gain, you know, gain for life and two tokens for two mana is absolutely fantastic. And these are going to be two twos. But then again, I would like to have my new card, please deck. But he's probably gonna attack anyway with his Felden because he wants to get some. Okay. Well then. <laughs> uh, Alright. We're kinda lucky that he has only two red sources because he can't. He, he ain't play, can't, he's not playing that dragon. Sure. I'm surprised he doesn't attack with the Felden. He can't block. Sure. Well then, uneventful. Should I play? We should have played the Merricks. So what do we do now? Do we just attack with the uh, hmm, virtue of loyalty? Attack with the land, or do we some fall and just have the token ready for his uh, uh, for his factories? I don't know. I just I don't think he has a better board, if I'm honest. I think we can have virtue here, and we can actually. Just cast, uh, cast out the side too. We are 10 life, sure, so he can, if he has to not draw, but come on, dude. He, he can't block here. He's only two red sources. He's not sitting as well as you may think. 
He's gonna be 4-4s four the so next time we can attack with our man lands. To be fair, we don't have that many red sources as well. <laughs> and I'm not playing the new lands, I don't really think... I mean, now I kind of regret not doing it. Actually, after this event, I do recommend playing the lands, because there's a lot of times where you get severely land starved, and having the ability to surveil is really good. Falkir of Pit Fighter, okay. I think we should attack and... Uh, oh, that is nice. That is very nice. Can we do this and also activate our Bivoniac? We can, but it's gonna cost oh man at eight life. I don't wanna really I don't wanna pay anything. I'm cheap. Life source is no longer a disposable income. I think we attack and we just unfall. If I can be that boring. We have the mana, so if he attacks with his foundry, we can block and kill it. He should block here. Oh, he doesn't see it, I guess. Maybe he can foresee it. Because most of the boar stacks are not playing some fall. God, I love it. <laughs> Alright. Actually, we should probably activate it now so we can get the two tokens. I mean, the two counters. Alright, here's my 7-7, seven, seven, dude. Go nuts. So he can deal 3, 4, 5 if he finds a dragon, but then it's over anyway, right? Oh, I'm liking this. Alright, so he's given up. <laughs> Alright, that was a good game. In the end, Monred is going to, you know, do what Monred do. Just attack and hope for the best. Uh, you out. Let's take some damage here. Because I want the war leaders to call out. Also, what I got here, you can actually, you know, Mirix works really well together with uh, Warlord's pack. So I'm actually, I'd rather use the Field of Ruin here to cast it because it's an extra damage. Just to, just to keep in mind, Warlord's Call is so good. Like, imagine if you have two of them out, every time you proc Mirix, it's a shock, you know? So, uh, or a play with fire. I know it's a shock. Either way, that was a good game. It was a bit longer than I thought against Mono Red, but hey, let's keep on going. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Oh my god, dude, should I be mad? <laughs> This is a sweet hand if you draw a land. Oh my god. On the draw, two lands against Mount Red. Shall I just like... <laughs> uh, uh, market Gnome, you, you, meat shield time. You better... <laughs> oh man, earn your keep, soldier. Hope you looped up. Okay, cool, so we're gonna gain a life and draw a card here at least. So this is why, I, I mean, market Gnome is just not good against Kumano. So I'm actually happy it dies here before Kumano's flipped. Thank you. This gnome will become so much better when this uh, uh, commander rotates out. And we did not get the land, despite the market gnome. <laughs> we didn't get it. That's uh, that's uh, 10 cards, 2 lands, which uh, makes absolutely no sense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 10 cards, uh, 1 fifth of our lands, not, uh, you know, almost half. I played 26 of them. But either way, look, market gnome is pretty good. The opponent has a perfect curve, I love it. Hey, we got the land. What do we do? <laughs> Uh, what do we do, soldiers? Uh, I guess we just do Virtue of Loyalty and try to backstab the the Kumano. Or we just play you out. I mean, wedding announcement is so bad against uh, on the draw, land starving against Monrad. But to be fair, if we weren't lands, yeah, if we could survive and we can sunfall it, it wouldn't be too bad. But Warlord is. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, Monrad is still Monrad. I love standard events. I love being in the draw three games in a row. It really tickles me the right way. Oh my god. Yes. Who needs happiness when you got this? Do you have a do you have a monstrous rage too? Please. Yep. <laughs> uh it doesn't get much better than this. So I'm just go oh tap land. Love it. I feed a zin. Oh my god, praise the lord, we actually got it. We got to be on the play, guys. Oh, please. Man, Sanat, let's let's see how you fare against this deck uh, on the play, on the draw against me. Let's see how this deck performs on the play. Let's see, just for fun. Okay, aggro? Sure. How are you going to get past this recruitment officer? You ain't. That's a good... Uh, this is no mess. This is the real meat shield. What do you have? Are you curving out? Oh, a couple of, oh, that's cool art. How do you get that? I usually get the good art. 
I don't. I don't have the money. Okay, well, surprise. I think it's worth the trade here. Yeah, it's pretty nice, I agree. Uh, let's see here. Let's just get this out since we're on the... <laughs> we're on the play. Oh my god, Warder's Call is a lot better when you're on the play. <laughs> so next turn, we play out Virtue of Loyalty and then we, uh, in we play out the other side of Virtue of Loyalty and hopefully our army is so big the opponent just concedes. Another cup of coat, that's very annoying. But he's not going to attack here, it doesn't make any sense. That's pretty cool too. I, so here, conundrum, war leaders or virtue, I think war leaders? I'm leaning towards that a little bit more, honestly, than, uh, I mean, if he has a brutal Cathar, we are tremendous, tremendously fucked. <laughs> then it's not fun anymore. Also, imagine if I get a lightning helix or a sunfall, that would be really good as well, but you can't pick your hands. Either way, let's get the war leaders call out, since it is a new card, and now uh, he can't really get past it if he doesn't have his brutal Cathar. But imagine, imagine some fall, imagine some fall in this board, oh my god. Um, yeah. It's like, imagine being happy in your life. The thought is very, very addicting. Sure. I did not expect ambitious for another one, oh my god. Some fall deck, please. May I have it? Is he gonna attack? Please attack. Do it. Do it. You can get in for 7 damage. It's better than nothing. Oh look, he's actually doing it. I'll take your cup of Vanguard. Ah, oh, what it was. Oh my god. Alright, I guess it's uh, Warlord's Call and surprising with the Virtue of Loyalty. Man, that, that is a... That's a Chad gnome. This gnome does not fuck around. Adeline, okay. You think he's finally going to attack? Okay, so I'll pay two mana for uh, for a five-five and deal three damage to your face. How about them apples? And we are gonna make good trades too. How about that? How about we get rid of both your couple of vanguards? We are gonna take some damage though. Don't get me wrong. Ow! Lightning healing's pretty good. I do think <sighs> Virtue of Loyal is better. If he has a couple of vanguard, we are gonna take some massive damage here. I think we should just hold Lightning Helix, if I'm honest. Uh, let's go for it. Fuck it. Let's go. If he has a, if he has it, how much damage did we take? We take... We die if he has it. Ah, oh, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> that was a good game anyway. That is very, very unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it's exactly lethal. He has uh, two, six... Eight damage though. Oh what the <laughs> He threw the game? Mansonet, dude! Oh there's the Cathars, two of them too. Oh my god, what is he doing? Why did he not want to win? I don't understand. We're still not out of the clear. We're still pretty screwed here. We need a sunfall. It exists somewhere in this deck. Draw? That's not a sunfall. Oh, we got him. Don't we? We got uh, six damage with the Sokushan, and then we got lightning healings in, in his face for three. Or am I blind? I think we got, we have to make sure we tap correctly though with uh, Painland, but yeah. We actually got it. We cannot attack because he's going to block with this extraction specialist, but hey. We actually got this. How funny is that? Yeah. War leader's call, man. Doesn't mess around. How about I discard this land and get two 4 fours and deal 6 damage to your face? And let's finish it off with another new card. Well, reprint card. Feels so nice. So guys, we are going to speed up the rest of the games. A lot of you want to see all the games in a standard event instead of just seeing the results, which is fine. Uh, I think some of the games might be interesting. I know there's one against Celestia that we did really well. So I'm going to remove my voiceover and play some dope music and you can see it. And I will talk to you at the end of the video what I think about the deck and what changes should be made. And with that being said, enjoy and see you in a little bit.
Well, we got ourselves five wins, uh, so I'll take it. It's a good start to a standard event video. But uh, yeah, we, one of the games the opponent lagged out, but also keep in mind we were on the draw a lot. And yeah, I mean, we didn't. If, <laughs> there's a lot of games. If we didn't draw some foul, you just didn't win. Uh, but what can I say about Bros War? It's really cool. Uh, I do think the Mark Gnome has to go solely because of the Kumano. Come on, makes it bad and just put in the smite. And you can actually cut a smite here and put in another reinforcement instead if you want. So reinforcement is so good with Warlord's Call. I do want to make a PNLR deck as well uh, with uh, the Warlord's Call because I think that would be pretty dope. And I also want to make a Warlord's Call with uh, uh, the tokens. The, the deck we, the first game we beat, I think, that was the one. The opponent was playing, he lost, lol. But I want to try that deck out as well because I think it looks really cool. Either way, I think this was really, really fun to play and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And with that being said, thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and... Have a good fucking time!